Welcome to our video, Japan and the World. The topic for this time is, Top Historian Warns the West is Failing to Deter China. I would like to focus on the story by Sky News Australia. Well, moving on now, one of the world's most influential historians says Australia and the West are failing to prevent a war with China. So Neil Ferguson has warned a conflict in the Pacific could come in the next six years. Our Asia correspondent Sash Butler reports. Chinese forces surround Taiwan in a recent display of military might. Fears of a war between Beijing and the Chinese-claimed island are seen as a key reason the US and Australia have expanded defence ties. But not fast enough, according to one prominent historian who warns China aims to be ready for war in the next three years. It raises the probability that sometime this decade there's going to be a showdown, most likely over Taiwan, could also be over the Philippines, and we're not remotely taking this seriously enough. Stanford professor Niall Ferguson says Australia would be vital to any conflict because of its geography and relationship with Beijing. But he says that Canberra's AUKUS submarines, due in the 2040s, could come too late to deter a Chinese attack. We face a real axis today of China, Russia, Iran and North Korea. And if you look at the economic resources that China brings to the table, this axis is actually more dangerous than the axis of the late 1930s. It's a stark call to action as regional tensions grow. Last week, China held drills encircling Taiwan, which it sees as its sovereign territory. We are willing to strive for the prospect of peaceful reunification with the utmost sincerity and endeavor, but we will never commit ourselves to renouncing the use of force. But fighting a war may not be Beijing's preferred option. One of the last things that China wants is a full-scale invasion on Taiwan that involves it, itself uh, in a conflict with the United States and Japan in particular. And AUKUS submarines, to some, are only one part of a wider approach to handling Beijing. You can't just have deterrence and say that this is something that we would like our enemy not to do. You've also got to show them and uh, show them via diplomacy and other means um, the outcomes that you want. For its part, Taiwan says it's raising defence spending while continuing to offer dialogue with China. But given the gulf in military strength, Taipei is counting on its Western partners to help it keep the peace. Stash Butler, Sky News, Taipei.